On Thursday, 5th November, an additional case of COVID-19 was recorded, bringing the total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 106. Case number 106 is a 37-year-old female from the Labry District. She was tested at a recent community COVID-19 screening activity, which was held in Labry and was placed in quarantine while awaiting the result. The ministry is currently investigating the possibility of an epidemiological link. The number of active cases currently in care is 74. All cases remain stable and there are no cases requiring critical care. In other important health developments, as of October 24, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded 888 confirmed and 365 suspected dengue fever cases. To date, authorities have confirmed dengue-related deaths. The age range for reported cases was from 3 weeks to 94 years old. The 5 to 14 years group age group accounted for 35% of all cases, followed by 15 to 24 years age group and the 25 to 49 years age group with 21% of the cases for each group. 215 of the confirmed dengue cases were hospitalized. Dr. Glensford Joseph is the Medical Officer of Health. All health regions continue to be affected by the occurrence of dengue. However, the highest number of cases confirmed continues to be in the northern part of the island. Castries accounted for 28% of the cases. Grosley, 19% and Babano, 8% of cases. Viewfort accounted for 11%, while Miku and Denry each accounted for 8% of cases. Between October the 11th and October the 24th, 2020, new cases were confirmed in the Miku and Viewfort district. To date, two strains of dengue viruses, dengue virus 3 and dengue virus 2, have been identified as being in circulation in St. Lucia during this outbreak. In its mild form, dengue fever may present with fever, headaches, pain behind the eyes, muscle, and joint pains and a red itchy rash. There are several warning signs that persons need to be aware of. These include intense and continuous abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, three or more episodes in an hour, bleeding from the gums, nose, in the urine or in vomit, or dark colored stool, restlessness or drowsiness, enlarged liver. Persons presenting with these symptoms should visit their healthcare provider.